Not difficult at all. I just took it as like, you know, it's one of those things. Um, like if you if you're not able to call out your best players on offense, then you can't really call out anybody. So, um, and I said it in the uh, last week. I take pride in being an A player. So if I get called out, you can't be can't get in your feelings about it, or you can't you know be sad about it. It's, it just is what it is. You got to be better, and like you said, just take the Grammy yards when they're given. Is that something that you feel you need to get better at? Um. I mean, yes, yes, and no. I feel like uh, every back probably has some yards that they that they left out there that they wish they could, you know, run that they wish they could have back and little stuff like that. And I do, but um, you know, uh, I'm going out there every week trying to, you know, trying to play my best, trying to put us in a position to win. So, you know, it just says what it is. Is a four yard run a good thing? Yeah, it's always because if you average four yards, four yards of carry, four eight, and then the next four yards are first down, so you can't ever. Uh, complain about that at all. What's it been like having Aaron back kind of impact on you guys? Yeah, it's been cool. He's my locker mate. And then uh, in the at the uh, stadium, he's, his locker's right next to mine. So uh, we talk a lot. Um, and it's been good just to have him back. He's he's kind of uh, not taking a back seat, but, you know, he's not playing right now. So he's just kind of letting Tim uh, and Tim like do his thing, and you know he has his little inputs here and there. But it's just it's just been good to have him back and um, hear him talk a little bit, and just to have him around the guys. You said after the game you were pressing. Hackett just said he's pressing. Mm -hmm. I assume most guys are pressing. How mm -hmm. do you battle that like internal? Want to do more versus do what's best? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's hard, you know. Um, Especially when you know the potential, the potential that you that you could have, you know, with our great defense, uh, and the potential that our offense has, you know, it gets to a point where um, if you're not, you know, you're not moving the ball, you're trying to make a play and everything like that. And then for him, he's probably trying to make that perfect call. So it's just one of those things where you have to uh, stay true to what what you do, the foundation of the offense, and um, just keep chipping away at it. Have you ever pressed like this before? college anywhere in your career have you ever been in a situation where you felt you were pressing like this um i mean i'm sure i have you know i feel like uh you know sometimes if you don't start out the game as fast as you want to you might start pressing but um you know you just gotta just continue to play the next play at the end of the day uh it's a blessing to be able to have him back around us you know what i mean always good to have him you know as long as he good you know when i'm good and we good you know, but I heard that's something that never happened before, so, you know, that is pretty incredible. But, you know, I ain't surprised when it comes to him. He always one of those guys that just going to make sure he take care of his rehab, always going to put that work in, so, you know, I'm not surprised. He was committed before that, you know what I'm saying? So, that just adds on to it. This just adds on to it, you know. If he's healthy, man. He can do what he want to do. If he not, then I don't think it's the right thing to do. You know? So for you guys to <clears throat> realistically talk about making the playoffs, you pretty much have to run the table and win out. Do you guys think that's possible? Yeah, we feel like anything possible. You know what I'm saying? Got to make sure we take it one day at a time, one week at a time. Uh, after the game, it sounded like the last game. It sounded like you, Garrett, Reese, a lot of guys who are the best young players on this team were really frustrated. How do you move on from that, or is letting that frustration soak in a good thing? Man, I don't really. I mean, I do get frustrated, you know, in life in general, but nothing's gonna stop me from going out there on the field and just giving it everything I got. You know what I mean? I don't feel like. That's not going to, no frustration that I have is going to carry on to, to the field or to the meet room or to the locker room. You know what, I mean? what do you see from Atlanta's offense? They look pretty good. Uh, they got Dez at quarterback, my um, college quarterback. You know, so it's good to just be able to share the field with him. Uh, I'm looking forward to the challenge. They got a lot of good offensive weapons, running backs, receivers, tight ends. Like I said quarterbacks, they don't line pretty good, so you know, they got guys all around, and their defense is pretty good as well. So.